All right, guys, everybody, Kim Tips here. Uh, I just want to give you my first impressions of Detective Famicom for Nintendo Switch here. Um, well, pretty close to my review. Uh, the pro biggest problem with this series, like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty far into the game. I'm like chapter 10, but it's, it's so annoying. That, so let me give you the faults. The game is great um, for storyline things like that, but you get to areas where. Um, like you see these little choices, talk, examine, show, these choices are useless. Like there's really no need th for this to be here. Um, because to, to actually progress through the game, you're just basically mindlessly going through every single option multiple times. Going here, going here, and then going here, and then go, go back. And eventually it sort of moves the story. So this is why it's like, they should have just made it a visual novel where you could just push the button and this text will just go. I really, you know, this part is really not needed. Um, that's how I would have designed the game. Just make it into a regular visual novel and that would like alleviate a lot of the headaches. Sure, you can have this part, but like you really don't need, because you're gonna go through all of these anyways because you don't know which one to select. So, and that's why it's like, and eventually you have to. So that's my biggest gripe with this game. Like, is it worth the, you know, $50 price tag? It actually is. It's nice. It's got really good animation. Um, that, it's a game you definitely need to check out, but I really wish they removed this menu and just made it a, just a pure visual novel. So it would just make the game play so much better. Or just, dude, you really play these games for a storyline. You don't really like, I, I, when I play these games, like or visual novel games, I really don't care about the side bar. So anyways, guys, stay tuned for.